When it comes to mountain climbing, the ice axe is a fundamental tool. Ice axes were invented in the mid-19th century to help mountaineers get a grip on slippery slopes, pull themselves to the summit, and stop a fall. They're designed for peak performance. Talk about a steep learning curve. Climbing with an ice axe takes a bit of practice and a lot of courage. Production of an ice axe starts with an aluminum rod. A powerful press bends it into a curve, giving it the basic contour of an ice axe. It's flattened and shaped in two fiery dies. Each die has a top and a bottom half, which are lubricated between forgings. The hot forging transforms the metal rod. It starts to look a lot more like the shaft of an ice axe. The long ridges add strength to the metal while other indentations mark where the attachments are to go. The forging creates a lip around the perimeter of the shaft. They call this excess metal flash. This press takes care of it in a snap. Now the ice axe shaft has a cleaner edge and it's quite a bit lighter than the original rod an advantage when you're toting it up a mountain. That aluminum rod has gone through quite a few stages and now it has a whole new profile. This tub of vibrating ceramic cones will smooth the shaft's rough edges. Here, a computerized drill makes holes into recesses that were stamped into the shaft earlier. These holes will be used to attach other parts. The machine changes the drill bit to a circular blade. Then, guided by the computer, it cuts a slot for the ice axe pick. Next, the saw moves to the other end and thins out the area where the handle will be attached. Using another drill bit, the saw carves out a hole for the adjustable finger rest. Here's a shaft that's already been milled and drilled, compared with one yet to undergo the process. The shaft gets a protective coating. Then it's time to bring all the pieces of the ice axe together. A worker applies epoxy to the inside of the rubber handle and slides it onto the shaft. The handle has an open end. He beads a little more epoxy onto it and inserts a steel spike. The spike is then riveted to the ice axe shaft. This spike will come in very handy on the mountainside. Plunging it into a snowy slope can help a climber maintain his or her balance on a slippery uphill trek. Next, the ad slides into the slot at the head of the shaft. Climbers use this tool to chop steps in hard snow and ice. The worker secures the ads with nuts and bolts, and then he installs the pick. This hooked and jagged attachment will help get the climber up a mountain of hard ice. The bolts are tightened with a torque wrench. After all, a solid job here could be a lifesaver. And finally, the adjustable finger rest is screwed to the shaft just above the handle. And now you have a tool that can help you scale new heights. <laughs>